Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I'm so happy that you have dropped by. Today's video is going to be a plus size fall style transition. If you are new to my channel, the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size mature woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post one to two times a week. So if you enjoy my content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you again. I am so excited for the fall. I love the fall and mostly because it means that I get to wear more clothes. Layering is the name of the game when it comes to transitioning from one season to the other. The weather in these transitional seasons is so unpredictable that you need to have these layers to help you navigate the changes that can occur just within one eight hour day. My first layering tip is cardigans. I love of cardigans. I'm wearing one today. I think that they are one of the best layering pieces that you can have because they're not quite as dressed up as a blazer and yet they're not really loungewear either. They fall somewhere in the middle and they're really great for when you are in situations where the temperature is going to be changing and you need something that's easily removable and then you can put back on in those times. Not to mention the fact that cardigans are very stylish. I would recommend that you get cardigans in various lengths because they all serve a different purpose. My favorite length happens to be the shorter cardigan or even I would say a cropped cardigan because I am petite and I just really like proportional, proportionately how it looks on me. I think that longer cardigans are beautiful. I love them. I've got a few, but they are more geared to a casual, maybe even a more boho kind of feel. They can work very beautifully in a wardrobe. You can wear a long cardigan with a skirt, for instance, it's going to look really good. Or you can wear them with like the skinny jean or leggings and boots and things like that. And it's all going to look really fabulous. That being said, you can get a lot of mileage out of cardigans. They are the workhorse of your transitional wardrobe. The next layering piece that I have for you are lightweight tops or blouses or button down shirts. I really like these sheer tops because you can wear them in multiple ways. They are incredibly versatile. You can wear them under sweaters or under other clothes to warm yourself up, or you can wear them as the outer layer. I also like wearing them underneath my summer dresses. And I think that that is one of the key ways that you can maximize your cost per wear in your summer dresses. Being able to stretch a summer dress like I'm showing you here, my most favorite ballerina dress from Target, I've got the floral shirt underneath it, is a great way to really extend the usability of your summer dress. Having these lightweight shirts is actually a really nice thing to have in your closet because it will help to stretch your looks and it will give you a lot of styling options. The next transitional piece I wanted to talk about is mules. Now these aren't so much about layering, but more like what do I put on my feet? It may be too warm for a booty or a boot. It may be too cool for sandals. So mules are the perfect alternative. When I lived in Texas where the weather is pretty moderate in the fall and winter. Mules were actually my go-to because they offered me some coverage on my feet. I wasn't exposing all of my toes and everything, but I did have my heel open and they were my go-to in the winter. If you're in the Southern part of the United States or in a warmer, more temperate climate during the winter, mules are definitely the way to go. Now that I am up in the Pacific Northwest, mules are actually a good thing to wear in the, in the transitional time. Once the rainy season gets here, I won't be able to wear them, but on drier days or on slightly warmer days, I can definitely get away with wearing a mule. Working from home, you can wear them all day since you're not gonna venture out. I love a good mule and I think that these are great transitional shoes when you're in between seasons or you're in a climate that is not quite as chilly as others. The next transitional piece that I have for you is a little bit unorthodox, I think. I don't see these a lot, but I think that they are fantastic and it is fishnet tights. Fishnet tights are a great alternative to opaque tights when you don't want to have that much coverage on your legs because it's either too hot or you're just not into it. Wearing fishnet tights is really good because it will provide some coverage on your legs without 
completely covering them up. And it's a really cool little style element. And additionally, you can find them in other colors. I've got a pair of nude ones. I bought them last year at the tail end of the season and I went into the hospital and never wore them again and I can't find them. I'm very sad about that. I need to see if I can find them. It will give you that transitional between bare leg and a tight. So consider wearing fishnets. I think that they're always stylish. They they come and go, but for me, they're, they're a classic style staple in my opinion. The next transitional piece that you might want to consider are lightweight sweaters. Merino wool is an excellent, excellent textile for a transitional wardrobe because it can keep you cool and it will keep you warm in the spring and in the fall and even in the winter, I like wearing merino wool. Another alternative is a lightweight cashmere that is going to transition well between the, the warmer and the cooler temperatures, whether that be in the car, in a cardigan, in a, in a sweater. It is also one of those sweaters that is really nice and can take you from one season to the other. Scarves are another option that you have available to you as, a, as we transition from one season to the next. As you know, scarves are very customizable. They're very removable. But what I really like about them is that they offer you some warmth on your neck or you can wear them as a shawl if you want to, but they will bring a pop of color close to your face so they can really liven up up an outfit. They can make it look really different, really snazzy. And um, I love me a good scarf. I wear scarves all the time. As soon as the weather drops enough for me to start wearing lightweight jackets, scarves are definitely an option because that way I don't have to wear the jacket the entire time. I can put leave my scarf on. It'll keep me warm. It makes a great accessory. It makes a good, nice statement and brings some color to your face. The last thing that I wanted to talk about as far as fall transitions is something that it's not a hard and fast rule. Truth be told, you can wear, let me tell you what it is, lipsticks. I tend to change out my lipsticks when the fall comes, but that's a personal choice on my behalf. You don't have to change out your lipsticks. You can wear whatever color lipstick you want any time of the year. But for me, when fall rolls around, I start veering more towards the deeper, vampier lip colors. And I also start leaning more towards, instead of just an orange, more like a red orange or a warm red or a brownie kind of orange shade. I get so much makeup inspiration from the fall leaves when it comes time for them to start changing. So I really love wearing lipsticks that are in the berry family or an oxblood red or even a deep reddish brown. To me, they scream fall, but that is just my own personal preference. You can wear these colors year round if you want to. There are no hard and fast rules, especially where makeup and fashion are concerned. Let me know in the comments down below, what are some of the things that you do to help you in this season to season transition? I will have another video for you right here in case you missed it. Thank you as always so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.